Imagine a day in which every minute counts. Your students build both literacy and background knowledge in everything they do because everything is connected. They make in-depth connections with texts and with one another. Your time is spent instructing rather than planning. Imagine the power of connection with McGraw-Hill's Wonders. Wonders is a comprehensive K-6 literacy program built on today's rigorous new standards to prepare your students for college and careers in the 21st century. Connecting students to core standards. Discover fully integrated programs for English language arts, English language development, intervention, and immersion, all focused on the same critical skills and strategies. Connecting students to inspiring literature. Discover a rich library of compelling literary and informational texts. Students access complex texts, collaborate with peers, and become confident writing to sources. Connecting students to the world. Discover unsurpassed resources to support your instruction, fully print, fully digital, or anywhere in between. Connect school to home with weekly letters in nine languages. Connect literacy to life with rich multimedia. The Wonders Instructional Path. Every week, learning is focused on the essential question. Explore it together in the shared reading, supported with whole class mini lessons. Now, students are ready to explore the literature anthology. Branch into leveled readers linked by theme, skill, and content. Open a library of beloved trade books. At every step, students engage with close reading, citing text evidence, and writing two sources. By week's end, they're ready to write about a collection of texts, leveraging the knowledge they've built throughout the week. The data dashboard gives you immediate recommendations for every skill and standard based on individual performance. Pre-built presentations and an easy drag and drop planner let you customize your week. Professional development is at your fingertips. Students enjoy libraries of instructional games, multimedia, and peer guidance. They may blast each other with insights, practice tech-enhanced questions, and bring performance task practice to life. The power of connected programs. Students learning about inventors, landmarks, or cultural traditions in the core classroom receive supportive scaffolding on the same subject, skills, and strategies in their instructional pullouts. They return to class ready to listen, speak, read, and write about key grade-level content the very same day. WonderWorks Intervention connects to Wonders Core Content with on-page scaffolding and supports for core content, vocabulary, skills, and strategies. Students return to their home classroom better prepared for core expectations. Wonders for English Learners supports foundational skills, vocabulary, and knowledge that will move students ahead in the core Wonders classroom. Instruction is targeted to specific needs of beginning, intermediate, and advanced English learners to help them move ahead more quickly. Maravilla, a fully parallel K-6 Spanish program, offers the same rigorous standards and weekly themes as Wonders, grounded in an inspiring trove of authentic Spanish literature. McGraw-Hill's Wonders program is the proven system that will prepare today's students for tomorrow's world. Discover the power of connection today with Wonders. To log into your platform, go to connected.mcgrawhill.com or you can go to my.mheducation.com. From there, you'll be able to type your username and your password and press login. To import your students, click on Import Students. Once you're there, your first step is to download the student template. You have to click on Download Student Template below. If prompted, save the file to the location of your choosing. Please be sure to use the correct template when importing users. So, click on the student template download and you will have an Excel spreadsheet. To redeem content, click on Redeem Content under Teacher's Tools. Once you're there, you can scroll down to see the available products. 
Once you find the product that you're looking for, click on Redeem. Select the end date of your course and create your redemption code. Click on OK and you're done with redeeming the content. To check if you successfully redeemed your content, you will have a green check mark like this. To remove any content, you can go to Manage Content and you have the Return Content option. Click there and you will be able to remove it. The calendar lets you view your lesson plans on a monthly calendar. To access the calendar, click Plan in the navigation banner and select Calendar. Lesson plans are displayed as blocks to show you the teaching schedule for the month. Use the arrows to display a different month. In this view, you can move entire lesson blocks to adjust your schedule. To move a lesson block, click the arrow on the first date of the block and select Move Lesson Block on the drop-down menu. Choose a new start date for the block and click the OK button. Your planner updates with the lesson plan starting on the new date and other lesson blocks adjusting for the date change. To add an additional day to a lesson block, click the arrow on any day in the block and select Expand Lesson Block. Click where you would like to add an additional day and click the OK button. To remove a day from a lesson block, click the arrow on any day in the block and select Condense Lesson Block. Click the day you want to remove and click the OK button. To view a lesson block in the Weekly Planner, click the arrow next to the lesson date and select View Lesson Block in Weekly Planner. To add a non-teaching day to your calendar, such as a snow day, click the arrow on the calendar date and select Add a non-teaching day. Enter a title to label the non-teaching day on your calendar and click the OK button. The non-teaching day is added to your calendar and your lesson plans are all moved to the next available day on the calendar. You can edit or remove the non-teaching day from the dates drop-down menu. This concludes our guide to the calendar. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. The Class Details tab in Manage and Assign is where you can manage information about your classes and your students. Let's take a look at how to create a new class and work with student information. To access Class Details, click Manage and Assign in the Navigation banner then select Class Details. The information for your current class appears on the Class Details tab by default. It contains login information, the grade level, and lists the students in that class. To create a new class, click the Create Class button. This opens the Create Class page. Enter the new class name as it will appear in your class drop-down list, the grade level, and choose an icon if you are using Simplified Login for this class. Then click the Next button. Indicate the first teaching day or the first day of your lesson plan. Then create your planner. You can select the McGraw-Hill Suggested Teaching Plan for this grade or an existing class planner you used for your class. Then click the Next button. Indicate any holidays throughout the year to update the calendar and click Save to add the class. When you create a new class, you are automatically moved to the dashboard with that class selected. The details for the new class now appear on the Class Details tab. Click the Edit button to make any changes to the class information. If your students are adding themselves to your class, click View Class Code to display the class code in a pop-up. Your students will enter this code when joining the class. To add students to your class, click the Add Students button in the Students and Groups section. You will first search for students to add to your new class. You can also select students from an existing class by specific content, 
by grade level or enter a specific student's name. Click the search button. From the search results, select students for your class by selecting the checkbox next to each student's name. Click Save to save the selected students to the class. Students are displayed alphabetically with their usernames. This view also shows the student's teaching level and any groups he or she belongs to. Edit the student's profile by clicking Profile. You can make changes to the student's name, grade, or teaching level. If your class has simplified logins, click View Password to display the student's password. Click Print Password Card to print this password for the student. To print the passwords for the entire class, click the Print Password button. If your class does not have simplified passwords, you will not be able to view the student's password. If a student forgets his or her password, click Temporary Password to create a temporary password. Click Print Temporary Password to print this for the student. A new temporary password is created each time you display this pop-up. The student will use this temporary password to log in before changing it to a new password. You will not be able to see the student's new password. Click Print Temporary Passwords to create a spreadsheet with temporary passwords for the whole class. Click Remove to remove the student from this class. Click OK to confirm. To create student groups within the selected class, click the Create Group button. On the Create Group pop-up, enter the name of the new group and select students by selecting the checkbox next to each student's name. Class groups are listed under the class information in the Group view. Expand the group to see which students belong to it. On the Student view, choose a group name from the drop-down list to view the students in that group. You can change the groups a student belongs to by clicking the Edit link in their row. You can also share your class information with other teachers. To share a class, click the Share button. On the Share Class pop-up, you specify the teachers you want to share this class with and determine the materials you want to share. A message is sent to the teachers you have specified, and they'll be able to see the class materials immediately. You can view all your shared classes on the Shared Classes tab. You can view all your shared classes on the Shared Classes tab. This concludes our guide to the Class Details tab. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the Wonders program. Daily lessons for the selected week appear on the left side of the dashboard. To view a particular day's lessons, select the button on the top. Click Planner to see the lessons organized by Whole Group Reading, Small Group Differentiated Instruction, and Whole Group Language Arts. Add-ons are available for intervention and English language learners. Click Key Skills to see lesson plans organized by skill. Please note that lessons in this view are still color-coded by group type. Click Edit to go to the Weekly Planner. Here you can customize your planner by arranging the available lessons or adding new ones. Click a lesson title to view its details screen. The center column contains detailed information about the selected lesson, including lesson outlines, major teaching points, and links to the visual vocabulary. Resources associated with the lesson are available in the Lesson Resources bar, including presentation resources and any classroom materials. You add additional resources by clicking the Customize drop-down list and selecting Edit Resources. You can add resources found in the Wonders program or upload files from your computer. Resources will always be added to the Classroom Materials area. Click and drag the resources to rearrange or add to your presentation. To reset the lesson resources to the recommended McGraw-Hill order, select Reset Resources on the Customize drop-down list. This eliminates any changes you previously made to your lesson resources. To add notes to your lesson, select Add Notes from the Customize drop-down list. Write and format your note in the pop-up that appears. Your notes will appear on the right side of the screen on the My Notes blade. On the right side of the screen are additional resources for you to use in this lesson for lesson support. Access this information by expanding a category. 
This concludes our guide to working with daily lessons. Be sure to view other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. When you log into WONDERS, you see the Teacher Center dashboard. You can access any of the areas in the WONDERS program by clicking its title in the navigation banner and then selecting the page name. You can access the navigation banner from any screen in the program. To return to the dashboard, click the WONDERS logo in the upper left corner of any page. The current unit and week in your teaching calendar are displayed by default. The current weekly concept and essential question appears at the top of the screen. If you want to review a different lesson, click the unit and week in the banner and select them from the drop-down lists. You can also select a different class from the class drop-down list. Daily lessons for the selected week appear on the left side of the screen. To view a particular day's lessons, select the button on the top. Click Planner to see daily lessons organized by whole group reading, small group differentiated instruction, and whole group language arts. Add-ons are available for intervention and English language learners. Click Key Skills to see lessons by skill group. Lessons in this view are still color-coded by group type. Access lesson details by clicking the title. Click Edit to go to the weekly planner. Each lesson has associated resources that can be presented on your interactive whiteboard. To open, click Today's Presentation and click Go. Click Edit to make changes to the presentation. You can add or delete presentation resources or change the order. You can also access the printables and games recommended to be used in your class this week from the dashboard. In the upper right corner of the screen, click the account icon. Select Connect Ed to return to your book bag. You can also access the help or log out of the program from this menu. Click the search icon to access the program search. Here, you can quickly search the entire WONDERS program. You can search by a specific term or concept or by state standard. This concludes our guide to navigating the teacher dashboard. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. The weekly planner lets you see all of your lessons for the current week and organize those lessons the way you choose. To access, click Plan in the navigation banner and then select Weekly Planner. Your current unit and week are displayed by default. Select a different unit and week to view those lessons. You can select a different class from the class drop-down list to see that weekly planner. In the weekly planner, lessons are presented by instructional week. The week begins when you begin teaching this lesson block. Individual lessons are organized and color-coded by whole group reading, small group differentiated instruction, and whole group language arts. Add-ons are available for intervention and English language learners. If you click the Planner Options button, you can choose to display the core pathway lessons or hide inactive lessons. Click any lesson to see the lesson details. Lessons are organized in the program order recommended by McGraw-Hill but there are a number of different ways you can edit your lesson plan. You can change the order of lessons by dragging and dropping them within the day, to another section, or move it to another day in the same week. If you want to move the lesson to a different week, select a unit, week, day, and category in the dialog box. Click the Save button to move the selected lesson to the new location. Another method is to move the lesson to the lesson holding bin. Click the Lesson Tools icon and select Move to Holding Bin on the drop-down menu. This removes the lesson from the planner, but does not delete it permanently. Instead, it is held in the Holding Bin. Click the Lesson Holding Bin button to view the lessons in the Holding Bin. The lessons are listed by original group. The lesson's original unit, week, and day is indicated here as well. Click Move next to the lesson to move the lesson from the Holding Bin. In the dialog box that appears, you can choose to move the selected lesson back to the original location, choose a new location for the lesson by unit, week, day, and group, 
or choose a new location by date and group. After you choose the new location, click the Move button to move the selected lesson to the defined location. You may need to move more than one lesson to another day. Select the checkbox next to each particular lesson, or select the checkbox next to the lesson name to select all the lessons in that group. Then click the Move Selected Lessons button at the bottom of the screen. You can move the selected lessons back to their original locations or determine a new one. All the selected lessons will be moved to the indicated location when you click the Move button. Click the Return to Planner button to return to the weekly planner. Click the Reset button to return the week's lesson to the recommended McGraw-Hill program order. This eliminates any changes you have previously made to your lesson plan. Any lessons you added to this week are moved to the lesson holding bin. Click the print icon to print your planner. You can print the current instructional week or specify a date range. This concludes our guide to the weekly planner. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the Wonders program. You can easily access all the resources associated with your Wonders course on the Resources Library. You can search for documents or upload your own files. Access the Resource Library by clicking Resources on the Navigation Banner, then select Resource Library. The resource bar at the top shows the presentation resources for the week on the In Presentation tab. Additional class resources for the week are located on the Class Materials tab. Your current unit and week are displayed by default. To review the resources for lessons in a different unit and week, select them from the drop-down lists. If you have more than one class, you can select one from the drop-down list. You can view each day's resources, separated by lesson category, by clicking the buttons over the resource bar. You can edit the presentation and classroom materials by rearranging their order. You can also add new resources by dragging them to the resource bar. Located lower on the Resource Library screen, the search panel shows all resources by default. You can browse using the categories on the left side of the screen. Click a resource icon to open it. You can mark a resource as a favorite or add notes to it. Search for a specific topic on the Keyword tab to narrow down the number of resources you are looking at. Select from the drop-down list to search a specific unit and week. Enter a keyword to search for a specific term. Leveled readers can be searched separately on their own tab. The My Files tab contains files you upload to the Wonders program from your computer. The My Favorites tab collects all the program resources you have marked as favorites. If you have the WonderWorks or English Language Learner add-ons, additional tabs are available where you can access specific resources. This concludes our guide to the resource library. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the Wonders program. You can upload files from your computer to the Wonders program to use as resources. To upload files, click Resources in the Navigation banner and select Resource Library. Click the My Files tab on your Resource Library. Then click the Upload button. On the File Upload pop-up, drag and drop the selected files into the window, or click the Select Files button. All the listed files will be uploaded at once. Remove any of the files by clicking the X next to the file. Click the Upload button to upload and register the selected files to the program. Then click the Done button. The uploaded files appear on the My Files tab. When the files are uploaded, they act as any other course resource. You can attach them in assignments or add them to your classroom materials and presentation. This concludes our guide to uploading files. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the Wonders program. You may want to use an existing online test for use in your class. This video shows how to find, modify, and assign an existing test from your test library. To access, click Assessment and Data in the Navigation banner, 
and select Online Assessment Center. On the Online Assessment page, select the Assign Test from Library button. Your test library lists all the tests available in your program. This includes all the online tests provided by McGraw-Hill Education and any tests you have created. Search for a specific test by filtering the results by test metadata. Select the Filter button and specify the subject, grade level, and any additional options in the pop-up. Then click the Apply Filters button. You can also search for a particular test by test title, the subject, or grade level by entering the information in the search field above the test list. Once you have located the desired test, you can assign it as is. In other words, with the same questions and test settings as the original. If you plan on making changes, you'll need to make a copy of the test. This way you can make changes to the test and still preserve the original. To make a copy of the test, select Copy Test on the Tools menu next to the test. Create a name for your new version of the test and click the Create Copy button. Your copy now appears as a new test at the top of your test, test library. To make modifications, click the test title. The current list of test questions appears. To edit the test settings, select Edit Test Settings on the Options menu. Change the grade level, display options, and answer viewing as you wish. You can work with the current list of test questions as much as you want. To edit a specific question, select Edit on the Tools menu next to the question. Modify the question as you want and click the Save Question button to save your changes. To add new questions to your test, click the Add New button. You have the option to create your own question or select one from the existing question banks. As you add questions, they are added to the question list. To remove questions, select Remove from Test from the Tools menu next to the question. Drag and drop the question titles to change the question order. Click the Preview button to look at the test as it will appear to your students. To assign the test, click the Assign to Class button. Select how you want to schedule the online test for your students. You can turn the test on and off manually to have students take the test during class, or you can schedule the test on the calendar so students can go in and take the test during the indicated times. The test is assigned to all the students in the current class by default. To select particular students, click the All Students link. You can select specific students by name or filter by their current grade. Click the Assign to Class button. The test now appears in the current list of assigned tests for the class. This concludes our guide to working with existing online assessments in your test library. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the Wondrous program. Let's look at the steps for creating a new online test in the Online Assessment Center. To access, click Assessment and Data in the Navigation banner, then select Online Assessment Center. On the Assign Test tab, click New Test. On the Create a Test or Quiz page, give your new test a title. If necessary, select the subject of the test from the drop-down list. Indicate a minimum and maximum grade level. These will usually be the grade level you are teaching. You can also indicate a time limit for the test. Select the display options for the test. Do you want to allow students to cross out answers? Do you want to randomize question order? Then indicate any online tools to make available to the students like the highlighter and notepad. The answer viewing drop-down list indicates what students can view after completing their test. You can indicate they see their answers after completing their tests or not. You can indicate more parts of your test by clicking the More Options and Tags link. Here, you can customize the test introduction, add a description, or specify an audience for the test, such as gifted students or English language learners. When you have completed the test settings, click the Submit button to create the test. Now you're ready to add questions to your new test. Click the Add New button. You have the option to create your own questions or select one from the existing question banks. Let's create a new question first. Select Question from the list. First, select a question type. Options include multiple choice, fill in the blank, and matching. We'll create a multiple choice as an example. You will indicate all parts of the question. Enter the question in the question text field. Click the Show Tools link to format your question. 
Then type in your answer choices. You can format this text as well. Indicate the correct answer on the right. Notice that the Randomize Answer option is selected. To preview the question, click the Preview Question button. When you have completed entering the question, enter a new point value in the Points field. To indicate the metadata for the question, click the Show Tagging Options link. You can tag the standards indicated in the question and indicate the grade level, taxonomy, and keywords. This metadata can be used to search for the question later. Click the Save Question button to save the question and return to the test. Click the Save and Create Next button to save the question and start creating another new question. As you add questions, they are listed on your test page. When adding questions, you can also add existing questions you have saved in your test library. The list of questions from the question bank are listed on the page. Select a question from the question bank to add it. Continue adding questions to your test. You can go back and edit questions and change their order. Click the preview button to look at the test as it will appear to your students. To assign the test, click the Assign to Class button. Select how you want to schedule the online test for your students. You can turn the test on and off manually to have students take the test during class, or you can schedule the test on the calendar so students can go in and take the test during the indicated times. The test is assigned to all the students in the current class by default. To select particular students, click the All Students link. You can select specific students by name or filter by their current grade. Click the Assign to Class button. The test now appears in the current list of assigned tests for the class. This concludes our guide to creating a new online assessment. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. Assigned Tests on the Online Assessment Center tab lists all your active tests. This tutorial will take a look at how to assign tests and monitor your students' progress. To access, click Assessment and Data in the Navigation banner and select Online Assessment Center. The Assign Test tab indicates the schedule for each test as well as if the test is currently open, pending, or closed. You can search for a particular test by test title by entering the information in the search field above the test list. To reschedule any of these tests, select Schedule on the Test Tools menu. You can change the type of scheduling here. You can turn the test on and off manually to have students take the test during class, or you can schedule the test on the calendar so students can go in and take the test during the indicated time. If you turn the test on manually, you can change the test status by selecting Open or Closed on the Status drop-down menu. Click the Update Schedule button to change your test schedule. To unassign a test, select Unassign on the Test Tools menu. Unassigning a test will delete all scores and remove all information on student progress, so be sure you want to follow this option before selecting Unassign. To assign a new test, click the My Test Library tab. Your test library lists all the tests available in your program. This includes all the online tests provided by McGraw-Hill Education and any tests you have created. You can also search for a particular test by test title, the subject, or grade level by entering the information in the search field above the test list. To see the tests for a specific course, click My Tests and select the course name. This lists the tests that have been created for each unit in your book. When you have located the test, Click the Test Tools menu and select Assign to Class. Select how you want to schedule the online test for your students. The test is assigned to all the students in the current class by default. To select particular students, click the All Students link. You can select specific students by name or filter by their current grade. Click the Assign to Class button. The test now appears in the current list of assigned tests for the class. To create a print version of this test, click the Tools menu and select Print Test. Once a test is listed as open and your students start taking it, you can view their scores on the Test Progress Report. An M icon next to the test title means that there are submissions that require manual scoring. Access the Progress Report by selecting View Results on the Test Tools menu. The Progress and Scores tab on the Test Progress Report lists all the students who were assigned the test. 
If the student has completed the test, a score appears. The report also indicates when the student started the test and how long he or she was in the test. To view a student's test responses, select the student's name or the score sheet link. The score sheet indicates the student's final score at the top. If a student is still working on a test, in progress appears here. The student's responses are indicated, as well as the correct response. An exclamation point next to a student name on the progress report indicates that the test contains questions that require you to manually score a question, such as an essay question. To score these questions, select the exclamation point to open that student's score sheet. Scroll to the question and enter a number of points. The score sheet is added automatically. Select the Item Analysis tab to get a view of how your class answered each question. Item Analysis lists each student's score for each question, color-coded based on performance brackets. Click the Standards Analysis tab to get a view of how your class understood the standards covered in this test. Standards Analysis lists each student's score for each standard, color-coded based on performance brackets. These percentages are a combination of the student scores for all test questions tagged with that standard. This concludes our guide to assigning and monitoring your online assessments. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information on the WONDERS program. You create and track class assignments on the WONDERS Assignment Manager. To access the Assignment Manager, click Manage and Assign in the Navigation banner and select Assignment Manager. To create a new assignment on the Assignment Manager tab, click the Make an Assignment button so you can write and format your assignment instructions. You determine when the assignment starts and when it is due. You also specify when the assignment expires. In other words, the period where the student can submit past due. The assignment no longer appears on the student's homepage when it has expired. Resources can be added by clicking the Edit button in the Resources area. You can add resources found in the Wonders program or upload files from your computer. You can choose to assign to specific students or the whole class. You can also select specific groups when sending project or activity-related messages. Click the Assign button to assign to the selected students. The assignment appears on the Assignment Manager tab based on the start date you selected. Your students will view assignments on their to-do lists. The Assignment Manager is also where you can monitor current assignments to see what has been submitted, which students have outstanding work, or edit any assignment status. To take a closer look at an assignment, click the Details link. Click the Edit button to bring up the editable version. Make any desired changes and click the Assign button. The assignment will be resubmitted to the selected students. You can copy an existing assignment from the Details view as well. Click the Copy button. Make any desired changes and click the Assign button. The assignment will be submitted to the selected students. To delete an existing assignment, click the Delete button. Change to Student View to list the assignments by student. Expand the student's name to see all the work assigned to that student, including the status of each assignment, any comments you have made, and a copy of the submission. Click View to view the student's assignment. Any files the student attached to the assignment will be listed in the Resources panel under Student. Click the resource to open it. Enter any comments you have in the Comments to Student field. These will appear on the student's binder. The assignment will be marked as submitted automatically. Select the Mark as Submitted checkbox if you want this status removed. Select Mark as Completed to indicate if the assignment has been completed by the student. You will be required to indicate this status if you selected to review the assignment when you created it. Click the Save button to save your changes to the Assignment Manager. This concludes our guide to the Assignment Manager tab. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. Let's look at ways to use the WONDERS Gradebook. To access, click Assessment and Data in the Navigation banner, then select Gradebook. The Gradebook for your current class appears on the Assess Pages Gradebook tab. 
Your students are listed on the left side of the table with the class grades in the first column. Individual assignments are listed in subsequent columns, including the assignment category, due date, and total points. Use the slider and the arrows to navigate through the assignments and view individual grades. Click an assignment title to open the assignment. Make any desired changes, then click the Save Assignment button. To create a new assignment from the gradebook, click the New Assignment link. Enter an assignment name. Enter the total number of points possible, or enter EC for an extra credit assignment. Enter the due date, or select it from the calendar. Select an assignment category from the drop-down list. The default category is Assignments. To add details to your assignment, click the More Options link. Here, you can add an assignment description, select a standard set, and attach files to the assignment. When you are finished, click the Save Assignment button. The assignment will be added to your gradebook. As students complete the assignment, click the assignment title and scroll down to the Student Scores section of the assignment page. Enter the points for each student. If you are giving the whole class the same score, such as in a classroom activity, you can quickly add them by entering the score in the first Student Scores field and clicking Copy to All. Click the Save Assignment button to save the student scores. To delete an assignment, click the assignment name and click the delete button at the bottom of the assignment page. Click OK to confirm. To view student information, click the student's name in the first column. You can enter all the student assignment scores here along with any comments you may have. Use the tabs at the top of the student's page to view information about the student including grades, attendance, and other student information. To see another student information, select their name from the drop-down list. This concludes our guide to the gradebook. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. The WONDERS Data Dashboard summarizes student data into interactive tables and charts. The reports pull information from student assessments, games, and observational rubrics to give teachers a better idea of student progress. Access the Data Dashboard by clicking Assessment and Data in the Navigation Banner and selecting Data Dashboard. The Data Dashboard contains all current scoring information for your class. Content is constantly being updated as your lesson plan continues, providing an accurate picture of current student progress. The Data Dashboard pulls information from three places in the program. From student scores on online tests, student ratings from your weekly observational rubrics, and student scores on online data collecting games. First, at the top of the data dashboard, select one of the available reports. There are currently five reports available. The recommendations report shows student scores for the program's weekly skills. The activities report shows activity-specific information. The skills report shows class averages in regards to wonder skills or state standards. The Progress Report tracks each student's progress. The Grade Card Report shows the scores for individual activities as they make up a student's total grade. Select a report from the drop-down list. For this example, we'll look at the Recommendations Report. Specify the date range you want to view. You can choose to see data from the last week, the last month, the last three months, or specify a different date range. A great feature of the Data Dashboard Reports is the ease with which you can specify the information in your report. Select the topics available on the left side of the report to drill down the topics covered. Each report will have its own topic, and report navigation will change accordingly. For instance, the Recommendations Report lets you choose the leveled groups in your class to see how students in your class are mastering a skill in that week. Filter the report further by using the filters in the gray band above the report. You can filter by student to see information for the whole class or an individual student. You can filter by skill or standard to view information about a specific standard or a particular week's skill. You can filter by activity type. This information is updated each time your class completes a test or you enter information into an online rubric. You will want to refer to the data dashboard at different points during your lesson plan. You determine the information you want to view on the selected report. 
In this way, you customize the reports to show the information you want to see. You could look at how well a student comprehends a particular standard being covered in a unit, observe how a student has progressed with a topic over time, or look at the topics being covered before a test to see which part of your class needs extra help. This information can be used to inform your lesson plan, determining what information you focus on, or how to create your small groups. It's also a great way to communicate information to your students and their parents, providing the data that shows where they are doing well or struggling. This concludes our guide to the data dashboard. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. School to Home is where you send weekly materials such as class activities and spelling lists, as well as any messages you have for parents. Access School to Home by clicking Resources in the navigation banner and selecting School to Home. Your School to Home materials for the current unit and week are displayed by default. If you want to review the materials in a different unit and week, select from the drop-down lists. If you have more than one class, you can select one from the drop-down list. The For the Week tab contains all the materials auto-generated each week by the system, including the family letters. The family letter is scheduled to be sent at the beginning of the week automatically. This letter displays information about the class, as well as this week's word workout and comprehension activities. You can edit this letter, as well as determine who in the class receives it based on their student profile. Students also receive a spelling list each week based on the teaching level you assigned in their student profile. You can edit these lists and determine who receives a specific version of the list each week by clicking Manage Student Profiles. Manage Student Profiles lets you select a different home language, lets you select a different home language or teaching level for each of your students. If you want to send a new message to parents, click the My Messages tab. Here you can create messages, add resources, and determine how long the message displays. Sent messages appear on the Student's School to Home page on the Messages tab. This concludes our guide to the School to Home page. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the WONDERS program. This video is a guide to the Student Center dashboard. It will help you explain to your students how to navigate their site and use the program features. You can access the Student Center dashboard by selecting the Student Edition on your My Connect Ed Programs page. Please note that when you access the Student Center this way, you are accessing your version of the Student Center. It will not contain any specific student information. When you log into Wonders, the first thing you see is the student dashboard, where you are welcomed by the character from the book. Each grade's homepage matches the Wonders cover for the respective grade. The weekly concept and essential question for the current week also appears at the bottom of the screen. Surrounding the character are icons that let you quickly access resources needed for that week. My To-Do List opens your current to-do list page in My Binder. These are your assignments for the week. Words to Know opens a window with your vocabulary words for the week. Click the links to open the visual vocabulary cards for this week's vocabulary list. Writing Resources opens the Resources page of your Writer's Workspace assignments. Although in some of the younger grades, Writing Resources opens games on the Resources page where you can practice handwriting. This week's games opens a window with links to games related to this week's lesson. This week's reading opens a window with links to the assigned books for the week. Adaptive learning links to activities that can help develop reading and writing skills that specifically address particular problems. These quick link icons are also available throughout the program at the bottom of the screen. Links to specific program pages appear in the navigation banner at the top of the screen. This banner is available on all pages of the program. Access My Binder to view current and past assignments, submitted work, and your portfolio. Writing and Research is where you participate in Talk About It discussions with the class, as well as project team discussions. 
The Resources page contains the resource library, including items marked as favorites. And School to Home is where parents view this week's home letter and spelling list, in addition to any messages the teacher has sent. Click Home to return to the dashboard. Other program resources in the banner include a place to create notes and the complete program glossary. This is also where the program search is located. Here you can quickly search the entire Wonders program for a specific term or concept. In the upper right corner of the screen, click Connect Ed to return to your Connect Ed programs. Click Log Out to log out of the program. This concludes our guide to the student dashboard. Be sure to refer to other help materials for more information about the Wonders program.